Hello again, this is Dr. Amelia Fox, and this is the fourth installment of some videos to help you use the Real Flight Simulator uh, to get you set up in training and flying often. When we last left off, we were using the tricopter to become right stick dominant. We were flying the tricopter forward with the right stick, pitching forward, and turning right stick dominant using the left stick to turn the tail after we proceeded to move forward. Now, when you're comfortable with that, let's move on to the, the quadcopter that is so commonly used in uh, a lot of research. In this case, we just want to use the quadcopter X, not the quadcopter, and not the classic, not the quadcopter X classic, we want the quadcopter X, all right? Be sure that you get the quadcopter X here. And notice that the back of the plane is marked blue. It'd be my preference that the back of the plane would be marked green and the front would be marked red. We say red is dead. You know, we don't want an aircraft flying straight at us. And so we, we like to color them red so that we know the aircraft is, if it's heading towards us, we'll stop it and back it up to us. And I'll show you a little bit of that in just a moment. So one of the things we again have to have when we fly these quadcopters is we have to have realistic simulation in the physics because the yaw will not work properly if you do not. Your left stick will not work properly. Again we have our modes and we will train in loiter. And I'm going to train you um, and one of the most important moves that we can teach, we'll do it with the binoculars on the first time, and then we'll shut the binoculars off and practice it again. Uh, you can download uh, a little brochure on how to use Real Flight Simulator, and the very last lesson in it is how to do a maximum line of sight recovery. So to do this procedure, I'm going to raise my copter up just over my head, Stop and notice that my copter is not spinning, not turning, so it's not affected by any um, lack of calibration. All right, to do this procedure, I'm going to take the aircraft out as far as I can. And yes, the binoculars are going to come on for this first time, but eventually we're going to uh, shut, the, shut the binoculars off and do this again. And uh, so let's just take it out where we cannot see the front or the back anymore. It's, not, it's pretty easy to lose that. When I get out there, I'll just stop, make sure that my throttle is in neutral position, and I'm going to spin my aircraft. I'm going to yaw, 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 so I don't know where my aircraft is any longer. Now, you may be able to see the aircraft up in that binoculars, so and I want you to see this for, for the sake of doing it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the right stick back. I'm going to ask it to come home. I'm going to ask it to come home, but whatever direction it goes in, I will use the left stick in the direction of travel. You can watch my sticks if you like. So I'm going to pull the right stick back and ask it to come home. Now that it's going right, I'm going to push my left stick right until, and, and I'm going to pull it home. If it were to um, go the wrong direction, I would still use my left stick to bring it home. I use my left stick in the direction of travel and bring it home. Okay. Very simple maneuver, but it's a very important maneuver. So let's just stop it here. Let's shut off that binocular this time. Let's do that again. As a matter of fact, let's do it in um, altitude hold. And you to see that the governor, the governor will go away. Um, and it will fly a lot faster. You certainly can train in alt hold, especially if the wind is off. It shouldn't make any difference. Now that aircraft is way out there. I'm going to spin, put it in neutral, a throttle. I'm going to spin, 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 spin. I don't know where that aircraft is. I don't know where the front or the back of it is. I'm just let it set and stop spinning. Now I'm going to pull the right stick back and whatever direction it goes, I'm going to use the left stick in that direction of travel. You notice I use my left stick in the direction of travel that it's going. Just a little bit. You don't want to use too much. Otherwise you're just spinning in the air. There you go. I'm bringing it home. Every student should be able to conduct a maximum line of sight recovery. If you cannot, you shouldn't be flying a quad. And although most quads have a return to launch feature on them, you still occasionally need to be able to bring that aircraft home. 
So practice this over and over until you can bring the aircraft back to you without a return to launch feature. Now, just like the tricopter, to drive this aircraft like a car, we're going to turn, use the front, uh, the right stick, and we're going to be wing dominant, but we do need tail turns. It's just not a dominant turn. It's a very, very subtle turn with the yaw, okay? It is more efficient to turn uh, with the tail and the wings, the uh, bank, the roll in coordination. And different than the tricopter, this one requires more tailed turn, but not too much, otherwise you'll just spin out. All right, so we'll want to see you make some beautiful figure eights out there. Try to find one spot that you return to for your circle. And once you can do that, then we know you're safe to fly. And you're welcome to go out into the field and start training. There's a spin out. I love it. You did too much turn. And let's have a little fun. Woo! Let's have a little fun. All right. Now, there are uh, several training opportunities in the real flight. You can, you can try some of these uh, trainers. There are challenges. You can do uh, any of these challenges. These do not have active flight stabilization, so they can be uh, difficult. Uh, you know, do them when you feel ready. Uh, go out there and have some fun with these training tools. But get on that real flight simulator, get out there and work. Practice, practice, practice before you go to the field. Make sure you understand how to use these controls. Um, we look forward to visiting you when you come to the field at Mississippi State University and uh, get out there and fly as often as you can. Thank you.